The 40-minute ride starts here in Kampala. At a cost of less than half a dollar, we jump onto the train. It's a first for many. I have never been on a train before. Um, this is my first time to be on one. This is my first train ride. So, yeah, I'm seeing how it is, how it feels. But to others, it brings back fond memories. By that time when we were small girls and boys, uh, we used to like it so much because it had fun. The government awarded Rift Valley Railways a contract to operate a pilot commuter train service between central Kampala and Namanve, parallel to a busy road corridor. This is not a modern train system with luxuries such as air conditioning or a first class lounge. But passengers don't really mind. What matters most to commuters is that finally there is an alternative to the city's congested roads. City authorities say the commuter train will help lessen the pressure on traffic, particularly at rush hours. The trains at the moment can take over 1,000 people. At their full capacity, uh, they can take over 3,000 people. Now those are 3,000 people off the roads into the trains. However, out of the five coaches, only handfuls of people occupy the seats. But travelers say the number will pick up as the public get more aware of this alternative. It always starts rough, you know, but as time goes on, it improves. According to authorities, Kampala alone has over 11,000 registered matatus, together with the motorcycle taxis, commonly known as Boda Boda. They are the biggest cause of traffic in the city. The pilot project, which runs for a year, will be extended to other areas of the country when successful. Michael Baleke, CCTV, Kampala.